uh, network attached storage platforms? Anybody else using maybe just a network attached storage? Yeah. yeah. Is it, what, so what, what do you use? I've got a Pogo plug at home. Which okay. Is a box you can buy for about 25 to 35 bucks. Right. Plug a USB hard drive, external hard drive into it, or thumb drive, whatever you want. Right. It runs uh, in some version of Linux inside. It's uh, basically a network storage device as well. And we have a large one for work that's, uh, I think, a 7 terabyte. Okay. A grade 5. Runs five drives. Now, can you log into, the, into yeah. it and kind of manage all the services yeah. and such? On the one board. Uh, did you say you were running something? Yeah, I'm just setting up a Zizel box, okay. yeah, which is a couple terabyte, uh, duplicated couple terabyte box. Right. Now, I've had some bad experiences with just the out of the box network attached, stor uh, attached storages, uh, the storage devices such as Drobo. Anybody familiar with Drobo? Yeah. Yeah, Very I've had name. two of them break on me. So. I've, with that, it's, it's very frustrating because you don't know what's going on. It's just a dumb box. You don't know what's going on inside the actual system. <clears throat> it takes about it takes about two to three minutes to boot up everything. I'll try and get a proper position on here because once this finish, finishes booting, it's going to go into just the stationary mode where you it'll have an IP address and you log in with the web address. It's going to take a couple, a couple minutes at that. What, what about you? What do you? What do you? What do you run? Um, attached storage. You got any? You know what? When I was at Gable, I used something, and unfortunately, I can't remember what the something was for a minute. Right. Uh, there's an open something, open filer, I think. Okay. Yeah, I used open filer for maybe a year, um, and uh, it worked out pretty well. It was a spot to store some files. So. All right, so now it's essentially booted into the environment. So we're ready to go. We're ready to log in with this IP address right here and start messing around and, uh, and essentially set up the services. <clears throat> I'll plug my laptop back in. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the ZFS volume. web browser, walk into it, fingers crossed, there it is. So first I'm going to go into a volume manager. I'm just going to name it data store 01. And here, here are my two, two terabyte hard drives. I'm going to get both of them. I'm going to select the ZFS. Can everybody see that? Is that there? You see it? Uh, ZFS and MIR. I'm sure most of you are familiar with mirroring and striping. Striping will give you the whole capacity, but if you lose a hard drive, you're screwed. So, <laughs> I, this, is, this is the reason why I selected free NAS was because of the very easy setting up of the ZFS file system. So this only takes a couple seconds. All right, beautiful. Status healthy. Looks good. All right, so now that's set up. What I'm going to do next is just set up just a simple Windows share. So what I like to do, and this, well, let me ask you guys this: Is anybody else familiar with FreeNAS? Anybody have experience with it? Uh, I know, but our company uses FreeNAS. Your company uses it? Yeah. Okay. I, what I'm doing right now, and I, I think it's best practices, but maybe somebody else might have some, some better ideas on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply log into the shell, and I'm going to create a directory for the window share. <clears throat> so mkdir forward slash mt forward slash data store. There he is, and I'm just going to call it free NAS. And, all right, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chmod 777. I know this is not best because <laughs> I don't want it to. I don't want to run into any roadblocks. I'm just going to just beat the crap out of it, just for the sake of demonstration. All right. There he is. I'm going to get out of my shell. I'll go to add a window share. 
call this free NAS. I'm going to browse to the folder I just created. <coughs> Inherit permissions and allow guest access. Like I said, I don't want any any restrictions. I don't feel like battling permissions right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's that's set up. So let's see if I have access to it. I'm gonna go into fingers crossed, there he is. There he is, new folder. Alright, I've got read and write access. Simple as that. All right, so lastly, what I'm going to demonstrate is rsync. Is anybody using rsync, familiar with rsync? Yeah, you I love rsync. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, what, what types of clients are you using to, to send data to rsync? Are you just doing straight? SSH. SSH? Okay. Yeah. 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 Great, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up, put it on here, and as you can see, there's tons of services that you can that you can control. There's Active Directory authentication. There's all sorts of crap that you can access here. I'm not going to go into every one. The last thing I'm going to show is the rsync uh, functionality. Uh, and if, you, if nobody's familiar with rsync, it's it's a protocol where you can do incremental backups. Is there anything else that rsync does? It's incremental backups, and you can schedule it. And it's just a it's just a file a file transfer type protocol. Yeah, correct? it's a file transfer protocol. Right. It doesn't obviously no recursive changes and synchronization yeah. 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 between two different file right. systems. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it does. I'll, yeah, it'll only copy the ones that have a different timestamp or something exactly. like that. Yeah, that's not a problem. That's not, no. So what is that called? Differential. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So it's called differential. Incremental. Save the original copy. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go one here. Add a R sync module. I'm going to call this free NAS again, browse to my path, there he is, my user, I don't want to run any problems, I'm just going to set him as a group. That's a dead fuck. You, you come up here and battle permissions, I'm not doing it, I don't want to, I'm just trying to flow through this, all right? Seven, seven, seven. I know he's going to get flagged for that, whatever. There we go. <laughs> Does it really matter if Root is a member of Wheel or not? That's what worked. That's what I when I was doing my pressing. I, no, I'm not just. I'm just thinking. Even if it's not a member of Wheel, that just means it wouldn't have the ability to change to Root. Just saying. Okay. Well, just just a. No, it's, that, it's, that, it's, that it's really was just a joke. Okay. That was just just a good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> So I've got I've got our sync I've got our sync module built. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a free uh, client our sync client called Delta Copy. You familiar with Delta Copy? Anybody? Delta Copy? Okay. Just a free free client on Windows. So let's see here. Let me try and pull it up real quick. Copy. So let's let's add a new profile. Let's call this free NAS. IP address 168.1.125. Go ahead and find the folder for me. So there's the free NAS folder that I created and or the module that I created. Test the connection. Connection successful. Add profile. <clears throat> now I'm going to add the folders that are going to be backed up on a schedule. So I'll add the folder. We can just take the my documents. That's pretty much that's a common one you want to back up. All right, so I've got got the profile, got the link to the server, got the local folders. Uh, I can set a schedule down here, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go and just, just run it, just right, right now. You can right click, run now, log in the server. Now it's pulling down files, it's sending it to this machine, and, and it's successful. So if you run it again, there's no changes, obviously, it's done. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple way to set up a, uh, a backup, a scheduled backup system. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Any questions? You have any comments? Time? You want to, yeah. since you have some time, you want to build up a uh, thumb drive? You know, build the distribution of the thumb drive. Okay, that, that's a challenge. Uh, how would I do that? 
Okay, there's, I'm glad you mentioned that because there's, there's two things, two ways you can do that. You can download an ISO, yeah. uh, uh, the, the free NAS ISO from their website, right. and what that does is you boot the machine into that, that ISO, and, it, and it, take, it takes you into an installation where it says, you've got this device connected, you've got a USB device, do you want to load free NAS onto that USB drive? And it just does it all for you. Or you can do it the hard way, you can get it to Linux and do a DB, and then... How big does a phone drive have to be? Good question. It's not big. It, I think it's I think it's 60 megabytes, perhaps. It's not. It's not long. Oh, yeah. Uh, 16 megabytes. I think 60. 60 or maybe 100. It's, it's it's no more than. Oh, so it's it's less than a gig. Less than a gig. Yeah. Have you tried configuring uh, NSF? NFS. 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 Okay. Uh, anybody want to? Anybody have any suggestions on how to do that quickly? Unix shares. Unix NFS shares. Got it. That's in the file system. Okay. No, that's UFS. Yeah, you would. Uh, UFS. SC authorized networks would be 192.168.0 slash 24. 168.1. Uh, zero, and then put, put the subnet on there? Forward slash. 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 Wheel? Not my job. <laughs> Either root or wheel. Okay. And then, like, you could probably share that directory you made before with an NFS. Let's go. Same thing that we have when I set up Open File or Dbol. The great part isn't what it can do because pretty much any idiot can set up any Unix host to do anything this thing does. The great part about it is how darn quick you can set up any one of 13 protocols or set up an actual iSCSI and all kinds of other neat stuff. Just click, click, click. That's the cool part of this for me. Yeah. You've got a light flashing in the upper uh, right. What's Password. Oh, okay. uh, the, uh, there's no password. I don't know if you noticed, but I just walked straight into yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's no password. Yeah. So you, know, you, might, you might want to consider locking down your system. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so how do we go about testing this NFS? We need Unix. Uh, Unix. Yeah. Linux yeah. Linux yeah. Linux yeah. Linux yeah. Linux you got one? Yeah. I, uh, right now. I got. I got an open access point, free NAS. If you want to log into it. Um, what do you mean? It's, yeah, I got a, I got a router, a wireless router. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm logged on to the You're logged on the I'm saying your documents over there on the free NAS. So you're already in. You're already in my system. Yeah, I'm already in your system. <laughs> I'm already logged in here. 777 or at zero. You're sure I'm going to change the password on this bad boy. Not if he does it first. Too late now. He just did. He just did, right. right, right. All right, I'm ripping the shit up. <laughs> yeah, you can just log in and log out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, so did you verify the uh, the NFS yeah. that we just stuff? Um, I can make documents on your sure. free NAS check thing. That's what means. Which protocol are you using? Um, it says the NFS share. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it's Windows. It's, that's Windows. It's Windows share, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but it's not using NFS. Yeah, I just wanted to verify yeah. the so functionality. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's your name? What? Um, I can, I can, I can. Sure. I'll have to try it. Uh, uh, yeah. Can we go back to the uh, I think maybe you. Um, okay. Um, okay. I haven't. I was trying to direct you. Reservation yet? Just go through. I've been wanting to my side for a while. 
What was he appearing with? He's supposed to be here tonight. He said he was going to be Okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> so he wants to go pay in Cleveland. We better eat up on Grandma. We need about Cleveland bar and then my diet. I lost 17 pounds in the last nine days. That's all water. What's going to happen? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I used to be 360. So I, I, so I feel skinny even if I'm 320. Yeah, so what? So, so go into a show? You'll be alright. Oh, okay. Success. Success. And that's you as protocol. Yeah, you as protocol. Yeah. How do you how do you do that? Is it command prompt or what? Um, no. I'm in Finder. I did go. You need to get him out of the school in Pennsylvania. Make him do some work. Very good. It works. He's too smart. I forget what other. Can we see that one more time? How did we do it? Oh, you want me to do it? Or? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, I just did the, did the host, the host name and the name of the share and use NFS. That's how we access NFS. Cool. Now, if I wanted to do SMB. Oh, that would, that would be uh, window share, huh? Yep. Do the window share? Nice. What's the root? <laughs> there is an enter. Enter, enter. enter. Just enter. No, nope. nope. it didn't work. Okay. Somebody changed it. Actually, wait. He enabled guest access, so I'll just yes. do guest. <laughs> and, okay, guest failed on I, SMB. I <laughs> root, root, <laughs> password. Man, your NAS is gonna getting pummeled right now, isn't well, it? Well, now I'm gonna run Kane on them. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two You're raising Kane. Now. <laughs> 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 now. <laughs> What's Kane? It's a uh, oh, uh, packet sniffer. Oh, okay. Yeah. With a lot of cool built in tools so you don't cool. have to do a lot of the leg work. Cool. Okay, well, since everybody's getting on my network, I'm going to start oh. compromising their systems. Yeah. <coughs> it's called Kane. Kane. Yeah, it's, it's a Windows based uh, packet sniffer. Yeah. Uh, you can do man in the middle attacks with it and wreak havoc in coffee shops. <laughs> Or, or, or a similar one is uh, Remember, Facebook data is not encrypted by default. Neither is uh, Blackboard. You know Blackboard at the university? Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah, so if you're, if, you're, if you're at a coffee shop, you 